back to another video. So we're going to be doing another haul. We're going to pause from the Shein hauls and kind of switch it up. So this is kind of a mix mash of all sorts of different brands and companies and stuff. Even with a couple in-store purchases. I know. I'm shocked too. But this is going to be mainly like casual wear, lounge wear, some crop tops, as well as graphic tees and, and sweatshirts because you know me. <laughs> Even though it is 97 degrees outside, I got some sweatshirts and sweatpants because it wouldn't be very on brand for me not to. But there's probably 50-50. Some of it I have tried on, which you will see clips, as well as some of it I did not try on. So I do want to warn you, I will timestamp everything down below so then that way you can skip to whatever items you want to see. But I didn't try on everything just because like the graphic tees and sweatshirts, I feel like they're very, they're unisex as well as they're going to fit basically like any tee you would get. So I didn't really feel it was necessary for that. But don't forget, go ahead and subscribe if you have not turn on that bell for all the future content to come. I have been filming and editing and trying to upload as much as possible. All my socials are linked down below. Go check out my Instagram. I'm trying to be a lot more active on there as well as go ahead and check out the podcast. All that is linked down below. Comment any future ideas you'd like to see as well as like this if you like clothing hauls but, but without further ado let's get into it. So the first store we're going to talk about is going to be Holster. So the first item is this terry cloth bralette sports bra and it's this nice soft light gray. It is so soft and comfy. The only thing I will say is I'm not sure when I would wear this. This would be very just loungy around the house type of sports bra bralette because I wouldn't really want to wear this under things unless I wore it under like a button up maybe and I wouldn't necessarily want to wear this with just jean shorts but I do really like it. It's really soft and comfy and the terry cloth is like really nice. The next item are these tie-dye shorts. They do have pockets which I'm obsessed with. They are a little bit thicker. They feel more like a sweatpants material. I got this sports bra bralette in a size small. I got these sweat shorts in a size small. I kind of wish I would have gotten them in a medium just because they are a little bit snug for me. Like the length and the fit once they're on are really good but getting this band over my butt and hips are just a little bit of a struggle. Not too crazy though but I do really like them. I am in love with shorts and sweat shorts year round honestly especially if I'm lounging around the house. I don't always even wear sweatpants when I'm cold. I will just wear like shorts and then a sweatshirt just because like it's just more comfy for me. If anything I'll just throw like a blanket over my legs but I really like these a lot and I like that they're sweat shorts so then that way if I am cold I can gravitate more towards like these type of shorts. Next we have another bralette sports bra but it is in this nice sage green color. I look really good in green I think. I have hazel eyes and on good day it leans more green and I really do I, I like them. I think they're comfy and soft and I got this in a size small as well. But what I love is I got the matching pants. They are a little bit more lightweight. They are again that terry cloth material. And I got these in a size small and they actually fit really nice. This band is like crazy stretchy. But they are so comfy and they have pockets which I love having pockets in shorts and pants because girls like to have pockets too. But they are so com comfy. The bottoms are a little bit not what I expected. They have a just like a short stretchy band but it's okay. It does have a little logo on it for the Gilly Hicks and it says find your happy place Gilly Hicks. So it does have just a little embroidery there but yeah these are great. I really like these. I will definitely be gravitating towards them quite a bit. Next is a skirt. I've already worn this skirt. I'm in love with this skirt like a lot. The only thing I will say is I did get it in a size small. I wouldn't want to get it bigger because once it's on I think that it would be too big but it is a little bit of a struggle for me to get yanked up so I do have to yank it up a little bit higher, zip it up and then kind of like adjust it but it ends up working out but it has this like slit in the leg. It is kind of like a, it hits below my knee but like it works and it's like this navy color with these little flowers on them. I don't know, I really like it. It is pretty lightweight and I feel like it's really great for like spring and summer because then that way like it's more than like just shorts or like a shorter skirt. You have options and I don't know, I just really like it. And if you want to see it on me, I have a picture on my Instagram so go check out my Instagram. Next I got a seamless top in a size small. 
and it is like this higher neck top it does have a tiny bit of side boob that comes out and then it is really strappy on the back it is a black but it's like a washed out black and it's ribbed which we all know ribbed is my favorite but it is super comfy and it is it does have a really nice like bigger band and i feel like this is perfect because then that way i can like i can wear like high-waisted shorts and then this is still gonna be not like too cropped so i really like this but it is also gonna be great for like working out so i really like this top another top that i'm like obsessed with is another seamless top again i got a size small and it is this little flower yellow top like oh look at how cute that is the straps are super tiny and thin they are like in the back kind of like strappy but it is so cute like I can see myself wearing this like all the time it is so freaking cute and again I feel like this is very multi-use I can wear it like with jean shorts or I can wear it working out but like this top is so absolutely adorable another size small this is another like bralette type of item but I'm pretty sure it was a workout top it is a size small it is this daisy top it crisscrosses like over and there's some like gapping that happens like through the like little sides and i think it's so cute it is so soft like this is, first of all this is like just so cute and just like patterns like this just make me happy and they're just like i don't know it, i i really i'm super into floral right now if you guys haven't noticed and i yeah i really enjoy it this next top oh I love this next top again I got a size small it is this like quarterly color which I normally don't go for like corals I don't normally gravitate towards like red oranges pinks yellows although I have been but not normally but it has this tiny cute flower embroidery on it it's ribbed it ties on the side so you can make it like shorter or longer it is does have padding and it has a built-in like cami on it below the shirt which i think is really nice and even the straps on the back are cute it's not just like plain tank top type straps but like how cute is this i love this and again it is crazy soft as well i will be wearing this all the time next are a pair of sweatpants I got these sweatpants also in a size small and they fit fine they fit perfect they fit just like my other american eagle sweatpants that i got but they are these dark gray sweatpants with the holster embroidery on it super soft on the inside super comfy super loungy i think these are our, are they the boyfriend fit it just says ultra high rise but yeah these are fantastic i love these i will be doing a nice big declutter once i get all my hauls filmed so stay tuned for all that because you may see a ton of pieces being dropped on my Poshmark and Macari. So stay tuned for that. Our next store that we will be talking about is Victoria's Secret. I haven't really shopped at Victoria's Secret as much as like I used to. But they had some pieces that I like wanted. So first are these gray sweat shorts. I'm obsessed. I love these. Pretty sure they are actually in the gender neutral section, which I think is really cool. And they are in this perfect gray. I feel like these could be very loungy or like running errands with like a cute crop. Love that. Got these in a size small. And I just think they're great. And they are like cut off so they have like an unfinished bottom, which I really think is cute. And then they just have the tiny little pink logo down here. I don't know. I love these. They're like these will also be like a staple piece for me. Next are some sleep shorts slash boxers. Yeah, they just call them sleepwear. I got these in a medium. I kind of wish I would have got a small. I was afraid of them being too short and too cheeky, but they are super soft and comfy. And when I roll the band over, like honestly, I feel like I can get away with the medium because then it kind of makes them a little bit tighter and don't like hang as much. These are these green ones with these cute little pineapples on them. Yeah, these are super soft. Again, I feel like they'll be perfect for either lounging around the house or for like bedtime, but these are super cute. And I liked the idea of these so much that I also got them in this orange and grapefruit pattern which again I just think are so cute and again they're just so soft and I like I said when I roll them over then they fit drastically better but I do really like these next is this bra bralette type of item it does have like light lining as well as like a strap to go below the bottom of the like design and the bra itself I think this is cute. I think, again, this is kind of a multi-use item. I wouldn't necessarily wear this to work out, but I could see, like, throwing a 
not even throw in a flannel because flannel wouldn't really look good with the tie-dye. I'm not really sure. But I do like this. It makes my boobs look good. I got it in a size small and it's comfy and it's like a nice microfiber type of cloth. I like it. I just don't know exactly when I would wear it. So I'm going to give her a few outfit tries and see if it works. But I did get this and I do like this one. Next, I have two items from Forever 21. First, I got this oversized tee and I purposely got it in a medium large, which is this Britney Spears tee from 1999. It's got like all these tours on it, but I like that it's like kind of like worn in vintage-y type of look. I'm always looking for a great like worn in oversized tee. And so I found this and I'm like, I need this. I found this in store, but I'm pretty sure they probably have it online. And with everything that's going on with Britney Spears right now, like what better way to show support but then again I bet Britney Spears probably isn't making any profit off of Forever 21 selling a shirt with her face on it and then I actually got this cute dainty necklace from Forever 21 it is this cute little three layer necklace so the first layer has all of these tiny little like beads on it the second one is just plain and then the third one has this like little gem type thing on it it is super cute I don't really have a lot of like layered tiny dainty necklaces so I saw this and I'm like silver is my color this is super cute let's do it I when I was at the mall with my sister funny enough I stumbled upon a store called papaya it gave me very forever 21 type of vibes and I found this dress and I was obsessed Again, I'm really into floral right now, but it is this like type of maxi dress. It does have like ruching and ties on the sides. I just love this pattern. I'm obsessed with this pattern. And yeah, this is super freaking cute. I really liked it and I got it in a size small and I thought it fit me fantastically. Next, we're gonna get into items that I did not try on. So if you do want to skip to the try on section, again, it will be timestamped below. For these items I did not try on, they're just graphic tees. And graphic tees, for me, always fit the same. So we're going to go and get into them. I did get a bunch of anime tees. I'm going to say that. So this first one I got in a size small. My first shirt is a Hatsuharu t-shirt from Fruit Basket. I love Fruit Basket and Haruhatsu is kind of my favorite because he's like a badass but he's also got like a split personality with like Dark Hatsu and then also like he's a softie because he's in love with Ren which spoilers if you haven't seen Fruit Basket but I highly recommend it but I I just kind of like this nice plain white tee with a black graphic on it. Next I have a Tony Kawa t-shirt. I love Tony Kawa. I'm very confused because sometimes I see it called Over the Moon for You and sometimes I see it called Fly Me to the Moon, but I just call it Tony Kawa because that's the Japanese name for it. I got this one in a size medium, but I just, I love that anime. It is so just so good because like I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued, I'm reeled in, I want to know more <laughs> for sure. Next, I have a Darling in the Franks t-shirt with Hero and Zero Two. I got this one in a size medium. I, I like a good mix of smalls and mediums because then that way, if I want an oversized tee, I have choices as well as if I don't feel like having an oversized tee, I have choices. So I really like this one. I loved Darlene in the Franks. I really wish there had been a season two, but I get it. They tried to wrap it up and like that was it, but that is kind of a bummer. Next. <sighs> I fell in love and am low-key obsessed with the anime The Rising of the Shield Hero. I love it so much and I love Nafumi and Rautelia. They are, sorry, Rautelia. Words are hard sometimes. I got this one in a size small. I just love them. They, ugh. I, first of all, this anime is fantastic. 10 out of 10. I actually bought a Rising of the Shield Hero anime flag because I have these double glass doors that hide off my, what I use is my office and storage, but it's like a sunroom type area and the double doors are all glass and the dogs stare into the glass at night and bark at their reflections. So we put up some flags to like hide the glass and that's one of my flags because I just, I love that anime so much. I loved it so much that I found a couple other ones. This one I got again in a size small and it's just a Nafumi t-shirt. I love the simplistic of it. Like, you know, just like his profile. I don't know. It's really nice. I like it. 
and I love the gray. I got this one in a size small, but yeah, I'm, I, that's in my top five anime of all time as of right now. Like, I plan on doing an updated list for my anime list, so stay tuned for that, but for sure I have so many new animes to add and rate, but definitely in my top five. And then I did get another Darling in the Franks t-shirt. Again, I just really like the simplicity of it. It just has Euro 2 on it. I will say Darling in the Franks used to be in my top five, but because I've watched so many more animes now, I've unfortunately replaced it. It's still really good and it still holds very strong, but unfortunately it's just not as high anymore. Next, I got a Hunter Hunter shirt. I got it in a size small and I got it with Hisoka on it. Hisoka, like low key, is just such an interesting character because I don't know, like he's a bad guy, but he's a good guy and he wants to kill people, but he's actually like looks out for people. I don't know, like Hisoka is just such an interesting character. And again, I love this like profile and it has like some Japanese like items, like with the like building and waves and flowers and stuff. Like, I don't know. And I was super into that. By that same artist, because I got the Hisoka shirt from, oh my gosh, Threadless. I saw this Alice in Wonderland shirt and I am just like living for this. I got this one in a size small as well. I do have an Alice in Wonderland tattoo, but like it has a Wishfire cat, has a teacup, has a Mad Hatter, as well as Alice. Like, oh my gosh, how cool is that? So I would definitely check out that artist if you like patterns like this. And I liked that artist so much that I also got a Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy, Freddy T. And I just think that is like so cool. I love horror movies. I love Nightmare on Elm Street, the classic like the original and I actually plan on getting a Nightmare on Elm Street tattoo at some point in time and I don't know like this shirt is just so cool this artist is amazing 10 out of 10 highly recommend and then there was a shop that I went to in the mall that had like a lot of pop culture stuff it wasn't like a big box store but they had like movies and animes and cds and records and games and all sorts of different stuff and i love the stephen road shirts so when i see like a knockoff i'm like yeah okay and again on my horror theme i got this have fun with chainsaws t-shirt from the chainsaw massacre and it has that stephen Rhodes style as well as one of my guilty pleasures when it comes to horror movies is Saw. I know that's probably controversial because people are like, oh my god, that's disgusting. It's just blood and guts and gore. But I can't resist. And so I saw the Saw t-shirt and like learn how to play games with Billy on it. Like what? I love that. That's so funny. Then I don't know if you guys are aware, but Sonic came out with these funny t-shirts and I plan on like cropping and DIYing like a bunch of them. But I got them in all states that I've lived in. So I have four. So the first one is this Utah one. And I got these all in size smalls. But like, look at how cute these are. So we have Utah, we have Florida, obviously where I'm living now. And on the front, they all just have like the small Sonic sign with the state name in it. But then all of the backs have different designs on them. We have Kansas. And where I've lived the longest and where I was born, Iowa. I finally got my Spring Hollow merch in the mail. So it just says Spring Hollow here and then has their album cover on the back. I'm so excited to crop and DIY this. Like, I'm so excited. And if you have not checked them out, I will link them down below. As well as up here, I will link my Shein Swimsuit haul. I did play their song in the haul. So if you want to watch my swimsuit haul as well as listen to the song, definitely go check that out. But I'm so excited and I'm so proud of them. They're they're doing amazing and I can't wait to see what else they put out. Next we have a few miscellaneous pieces. I got this Iowa Hawkeye sweatshirt crew neck like vintagey looking one from Kohl's. Got this in a size medium because I wanted it to be oversized but I, what I really liked was like the like striped gives me very like 90s vibes but still supporting my Iowa Hawkeyes and it's still gray. And then I also got a couple sweatshirts from a girl that I saw on TikTok and I don't know if you guys are aware, but I am fully vaccinated and I saw these sweatshirts and I missed the first restock in the first round. So I did finally pick one up. I got it in this beautiful yellow and golden color in a size small and it just says vaccinated on it. And then besides the tie dye one, cause she does them like mono um, chromatic. So like the wording is 
the same color as like the tie dye, which I actually really like. I don't, I wouldn't really want like a black or white on that. She also did a bleached one, and I love these. Again, I got a size. Oh, this one's a size medium actually, but I just love crewnecks anyways, and why not advertise the fact that I am vaccinated? Because I'm very proud of that. Very quickly, I'm gonna show you something that I love. This is a sand sand cloud towel blanket thing for the beach and it is one side is this like cream whitey color and then the other side is this blue with reverse pattern it is huge it's so like it's like soft and comfy and I just take these little clips and I like shove them into the sand and it was so much room and I loved like having that much room instead of like having a beach towel and you're like kind of confined this gave me a ton of room to lay out on so they are a little bit pricey but I think I had like a coupon or deal for it so I I would look out for that if some that's something you're interested in but oh my god but yeah I thoroughly like that and I'm glad I made that purchase the last before the try on is my Trixie Mattel Trixie cosmetic merch I love drag queens I love Trixie Mattel and I just kind of couldn't resist so I'll show you quickly so first we have this nice like deepy mauve burgundy type of color with just the tiny Trixie logo on it I just love it it's nice classic I really like the material these shirts one thing I will say is they do bleed a little bit so like this one bled a little bit the first wash this hot pink one definitely bled a little bit in the first wash and it says this is my Trixie cosmetics merch and then it has the tiny embroidery logo at the bottom but like this shirt makes me look tan I like this shirt a lot but again like I said it does bleed next we have a black and gold one which Hawkeye colors love that but again it just has the little Trixie logo on it I did get all these in a size small next we have like a lighter mauve color and again just has the little logo on it but like these are so like just nice and then another, this is my Trixie Cosmetic merch, but in a light pink this time, again, with the tiny embroidery on it. I got two silk scrunchies. This one just has hearts on it. This one has the Trixie Cosmetic logo on it. And last but not least, we have a crew neck and it just has the Trixie logo on it. But like, I don't really have any purple, so this one I actually was really excited on. But again, just got everything in size small. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the try-on. wasn't the most exciting hauls. I mean, tons of graphic tees and yeah, I'm sorry. I was kind of boring, but I just wanted to switch it up because like I said, there's been plenty of times that I won't wear stuff because I want to film with it first. So like if I really want to wear it, I just need to film already. And there are obviously some pieces that I wear before anyways, 
but I am trying to wait. Like for instance, do you recognize the Shein destroyed tee? I filmed that video already, so then I get to like kind of wear the items. But I've been trying to do good, I've been trying to do better about like filming quicker and more consistently so I do apologize that some of this stuff may have been sitting for a tad bit a little while but I am trying to get caught up because a my floor is full of clothes for hauls as well as I need to do another declutter because I'm now getting to the point again where I don't have enough room to put everything away which is a problem but that's all I've got for this video, guys. Again, subscribe if you have not. Turn on that bell. I'm popping out quite a bit of content. Go ahead and like this video if you like clothing hauls or comment any future ideas you'd like to see down below. Don't forget to check out my socials down below as well. My Instagram, it, like I said, has been slightly popping. I have a couple more. I think I have like another haul, another Shein haul. So there's two hauls as well as plenty of makeup content to come. So you're not going to want to miss any of that. But... That's all I've got for today's video, guys. Till next time.